Greetings everybody and welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the granddaddy plays Gris. Last episode ended on quite the exciting note, didn't it? I'd say it was a very, very exciting note, at least for me. We found a bunch of spirits, and one of those are the spirits that we left behind when we activated the turtle before. I think it's actually six spirits in total, so it may. And man, that black eel. It gave us a run for our money in every sense of the word. It was quite terrifying, actually. But here we are, back in a pretty, pretty big section of the screen. There's one of those... I don't know if I can put my mouse on it. I don't think I can. No, I can't. There's one of those squares where we usually learn new abilities. But apparently not this time around, which is fine, I guess. We just keep moving forward then. And... Thank you for the lights up. I gotta say, the yellow color being so present in here right now, but being present in a very, very subdued way. It's very, very small, nuanced light sources that are now active in here, and I like it as such. I didn't test it, but I made the wild assumption and said that that quadruple tree there was probably only step honorable while it was actually illuminated. Can I not go into that? No. Fine, fine, fine. So we, we claimed the colors red, blue, green, and yellow. What will be the next color we will find, I wonder? Also, why didn't I make that jump? Better. Much better. I waited that we are actually going to try and make our way up the surface again to bring those spirits to where they belong. Okay, I have to fall down in here. When that is illuminated, I think I did that one properly right from the start. And back into the water. Together with the turtle, last episode we made a lot of upward momentum work, so that was good news for us. And we just keep swimming upwards in here. It's so bad as that this girl can swim up actual waterfalls, isn't it? There's another lamp. I want to see just how this room actually looks. So please illuminate. Are you going to illuminate this room at some point? Oh. <laughs> I, I absolutely did that on accident, but I'm happy that I did. I, I swear I did it on an accident. If I wouldn't have done that, I would have probably sat in that room for a little while longer in order to figure out what is going on down there. That was a happy little accident indeed. And we are... I think we have been in this room before. Yeah, 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 we have, we have, we have. And now, we can actually swim up this waterfall over here into this square. And then we can just take a quick dive up this square. Over to that one. Easy money. And then another waterfall for us to climb. My god, I'm just I'm just amazed at the height and depth this game can take you to. It's quite astounding. Also very, very frightening. At least to me. We have to keep probably swimming up words in here a little bit more. There we go. And we delivered. We delivered our spirits all the way up to the sky. That's six of them, so that should give us quite a bit of progress in here, right? Ah, it's still like only 20% of the night sky is actually filled out, so we probably still have a lot to do in here. Which actually kind of surprised me. I was not expecting this game to go as long as it already did. I think we had like four episodes so far. And they have been between 25 to 40 minutes long thus far. It's quite exciting. Um, Let me think. We actually were jumping over this body of water before. Now we can actually take a dive into it. Which is probably maybe nice. I don't know. Oh, look at that. We actually found something. It wasn't completely in vain coming this way. 
That's nice. But I think it's not actually the way we need to go in here, so we keep going a bit further to the right. Just a tiny bit further to the right. I'm actually not entirely sure what the proper direction for us to take now is going to be. We learned the ability to swim. But I do not know if that will actually help us progress in here in any way, shape or form further that we were not entirely aware of before. I do not know. I do not know for sure. There's also no hint function in this game, so we have to figure all of that out by ourselves. For the most part, we just kind of found where we needed to go just by doing it. Hmm. There's a lot of yellow over here, so this actually looks kind of promising. Just follow this waypoint and see where it is going to lead us. See if it is going to lead us. Let's start with that one. Pretty, pretty sure this was a point where we just came falling down from after taking a big, big hike early on, so probably not this way. Probably not. Keep going further to the left. Oh, there's birds in here. Didn't see that earlier, but now I know. This looks a bit more promising now, doesn't it? There's some more at birds. I do not know if they will actually do anything useful or if they are just chilling, killing time. They may, though. They may. And I like that the color yellow actually becomes more prominent as we have left the water stage out. Like, look at that. It's just gorgeous looking. Is that birds in there? Oh, hello! So you're gonna... F oh, okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. I hear a clock in the back line, so you're not going to follow me around indefinitely, right? I see how it is. I see how it is. Do I have to crush this one? And there he goes. So, there's definitely going to be a time factor every time we activate one of those things. But when we do, they will illuminate hidden secrets for us. I guess that's nice. Back into the water. Up this small waterfall in here. And would you look at that? We found a entirely new section in here. I hear the clock again. I don't know why this playing because I didn't actually find one of those spirits again. So maybe that's just the background sound by default for this area. There's yellow birds. Okay. That may or may not have done something for us. They still give me that jumping power, they also explode. Oh, I see how it is! 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, game. I, I am onto you. I'm onto you. That's pretty exciting. So, those yellow birds function the same way as the red ones, but they also illuminate all the hidden areas as you use them to jump. Can't go through here. Is this breakable? Yes, it is. It was. It absolutely was. Oh, this is gonna be a tricky section, I can tell. This is going to become very tricky for me. Oh, man, we made it. We're gonna we see it through. Found some birds, so we can take a high jump in here again. Up this spot. Use this waterfall to climb up even higher. And now for my next number. Oh, we're to the left because to the right there's a wall. There's another of those yellow bugs up in there. I saw it. And it's not only the yellow lights that we can find or the yellow birds that have that illuminating effect going on in here. It is literally every yellow light source that has that effect. So there's a good chance that if all of those yellow lights that are on right now wouldn't be active, we couldn't be seeing this entire section of the game. It's crazy to imagine, isn't it? Outright nasty. Yeah, so, oh, okay, we can crush through this one. 
crushed it. Absolutely did. And there is the yellow bug. What are you going to show me? Oh, there it is. I see. Spot for us to climb up on. Relatively simple. There's another yellow bug down there. Can't quite catch up to that red bird in there. Let's go grab this one really quick. There's a red bird over there in the pond. I saw you. Okay, so while one of those bugs is already active, you can't reactivate another one. Guess that is good to know. Did that really do anything for me, though? I don't feel like it did. I don't think I feel like it did. So let's probably just go back and grab it again. Thanks for following me on my journey, on my quest. Yeah, hey, there we go. There we go. I knew that would be important in some way, shape, or form. Alrighty then. I have to wait until that bird runs out. And when I fall, I will fall onto the red birds down below. And then I can use them to climb up even higher. I think that's what I need to do. Maybe I could also just... No, I don't think I could glide around that. Maybe there's something down below. I want to check out if there's something down below here that I can check out. No, there wasn't. So I really just have to be patient around that spot, huh? That it? Fine. I gotta say, that buck lasts a very long time. Actually, kind of surprising. Actually, kind of surprising. I wonder if there's... Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. I was wondering if there's maybe a way in which you can deactivate that preemptively. But there wasn't. But now we have to find two spirits again to get our next ability. Those are some pretty, pretty awkward birds. They don't look like they make sense in terms of aerodynamics at all. But sure, I let them have it. I let them have their ability to fly. It's not like I'm jealous or anything. Real talk, just being able to properly fly in this game would make things so much easier. But we do not do these things because they are easy. We do them because they are hard-ish. This isn't really a hard game, right? I think we can all agree on that one. But I don't want it to be. I'm just very, very happy with what I have. Very, very happy indeed. Swan dive. Well, it wasn't the... That was really a swan dive. More like a swan rice. You could even call it like that. Gonna keep rising up high into the sky. We are literally just venturing into the stars right now, is how it feels. But that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna keep up rising up high in here for as long as it takes. Bring back all the colors into the world. And hopefully get rid of all of those black monstrosities. I do not know if it is the same monstrosity or actually... Oh, so that's how what we're gonna do now, huh? That is what we are going to do now, game, huh? Fine, fine. Mess with gravity. Nothing bad has ever come out of that, right? Oh, this is gonna this is gonna ruin my brain. This is going to ruin my brain a little bit. Fine, 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 fine. If that's how you want to play it, I'm game. Ooh, I am, <laughs> what can I say, I am, I feel weirdly old-fashioned when it comes to this kind of things. I always feel weirded out when the game messes with the actual laws of physics a game like this has got going on. But fine. That was bad. That was bad, that was bad, that was bad. I need to have a little bit more momentum for that jump. I wonder if there's anything... Good coming out of just dropping down there for a bit. But I don't think there is. Yeah, there really, really isn't. Great. Splendid. That was worth a try, I guess. Not that I really gave it an honest-to-God conscious try. It just kind of happened. Fine. Up in here. Up in here. And almost missed that. Almost, but not quite. Oh, thank you for turning on that light. Thank you. That shows me exactly where I need to go. Up here. 
And into the water. Into the water. Anything interesting to be seen here? Hmm. Ah, oh, okay, I see. I see what I need to do, I think. Probably have to do it with a little bit more momentum. Or not. Guess I was wrong. Guess I was a little bit wrong. I thought I would have to jump down to that platform there, but apparently not. Can't do anything in here, so let's not. Can't go to that spot. Oh, there's birds. Didn't see them earlier. Now we can make this. Good stuff. Onto the platform. And over here to the next set of red birds. And there's the spirit. Numero uno. I accidentally stumped some birds. Didn't want to do that. That was not my intention. Not my intention whatsoever. But there goes spirit number one. Now we just have to get number two. Probably to the right. Somewhere to the right in here. Didn't need to jump into that water. Now I'm all wet. Wet and sticky. All that gooey water. There's more of those not really sensical birds. They are so bottom heavy, right? It's amazing that they can control their flight at all. Found some birds. Where do we best use those though? Where do we best use those? Probably up in here to get on top of that platform there. That was not enough momentum at all. Much better. Much, much better. Up in here. Hopefully we can find the spirit very fast. There's another bird. There's another bird, so we just jump up one more time. One more time, I want to celebrate. Up here, up here, and another bird. All the way up into the moon. And we broke gravity yet again. I wonder, I didn't check for that properly, but I wonder if the line where gravity starts to just suddenly shift is dependent on the position of the moon on the map. Because it looked like the line where the gravity shifted was kinda at the spot where the moon was. If so, it's a very, very cute, deliberate design choice that I have some respect for. And past the gravity line again. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, all's good. All's fine. All is very nice in here. Up in here. Past the gravity line one more time. And we can break this. Into the water. This seems to be a relatively straightforward section. And I do like it. And pass the gravity line one more time. Now... Don't know if I can take... Th ah, okay, there's birds. I was about to say, I don't know if I can take this jump all the way into that body of water there. But now we got birds. They make it relatively easy. Up in here. How do I maneuver around this one best? Oh, there's a bird. I see you. I see you, baby. Past the gravity line. I think I misplayed. I think I misplayed. I probably have to do that a little bit differently. Let me observe that one again. Hmm. Can I take those birds with me to the next body of water? I can. Okay, that's good news. That is great news indeed. Oh. Ah, damn. I need to immediately use the birds to make it back into the previous body of water. That's what I need to do. Got the birds. Do I still have the birds? No. No, I still have them. Damn. Need to do it with the proper momentum. Lost the birds? Yeah. Body to body of water. 
It's kind of hard to get the proper angle on that one. At least that's what it feels like. Damn, lost the birds again. Maybe this is actually not how you're supposed to do this. But I kind of feel like it is. Ah, I don't know. I feel like I need to maybe try to take this dive a little bit more diagonally. There we go. See, now that wasn't so hard now, was it? And then we're gonna dive past the gravity line in here, crack this open, find our second spirit, and now we're gonna claim our new ability. Whatever that is going to be. Walk over to the shrine. And reclaim it. What's it gonna be, game? What is it going to be this time? Just a sphere on the screen. Okay, so she can sing now. And I'm pretty sure that brought a lot more red to the map. That's nice. That is nice, I guess. I wonder if that singing voice will actually help me against the black bird. Because we have seen already that it did not care for the sound of bells before. So it makes these flowers glow and there is birds in them. Fascinating. I can't sing underwater though, I just tested that one out. What is that? Okay, I just made a mess out of this place. I just... Hello! <laughs> okay, I... I, uh, I I guess I gave you life. Turned you into some kind of spider creature. Rock thingy. Which I do not hate. On the contrary, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. Keep moving. Keep moving as I keep singing in here. It was actually very, very nice to just have him carry me around as I sing my soul, as I sing my heart out. Found something, I guess that's nice. And there is more birds just waiting for me in that flower. I can get used to that. She has a nice voice. Voice actress did a very, very nice job there. There's some more birds for us waiting on the water. I'm not sure where to best use them, but let's try it here. Guess that did do <laughs> that didn't do a thing. Let's try it over here. Okay, that that did a little bit more. That did do a little bit more. Okay, let's just notice there's a body of water over there. We need to go in there. We need to go all the way up in there. There we go. There was a gravity line somewhere that I didn't quite notice, but that's fine. Let's keep singing our heart on here. I feel like every time I see any kind of plant life in here, I should probably try and sing for a little bit, see what happens. There is more birds over here. I feel like those have been one of the most transformative abilities in terms of just overall level design. And here, you can see what I was talking about earlier. The line where the gravity shifts is exactly where the moon is. That is a great design choice. That is an absolutely great art design choice. I love it. Here we can sing. Did it do anything for me though? I am not entirely sure. I mean, something grew here, I guess, but... I don't know if that really had all that much meaning. There's another plant over here that we can make grow. Not much else to see because of that, though. This one over here, that small flower? Already grown. Good. Great. Okay, this one looks much more interesting, though. Oh, wow. It's a big buck. It's a very big buck. And I can use it to climb up this spot. Thank you, helpful bug. 
he uses this to manipulate gravity and sing again. And we make an even bigger buck appear. Damn. Damn, damn, damn it all. I hope you don't have problems with big insects like that. Hope you're cool with them. Now we can use this one over here. Can we use this? Oh, there. Didn't see those steps in here. Now we can use that big buck in order to make our way to the right. These two bucks, man, they are just... They are just chilling. Just having a real good time. Get me past the gravity line again, thank you. Fall back on top of the other buck and easy. Oh, I ruined it. I ruined. I ruined it so fiercely. I must not touch that gravity line, otherwise I can't make the jump properly. Alright, this time. This time though. This time though. We're gonna do it wrong. That's what I meant with the right amount of momentum in those platforming sections. I always have a pretty pretty hard time leveraging the right amount of it. I feel like it's partly because I've probably played too many of them over the course of time. And I would expect that at that point it would just get bad at them, but no, I keep throwing myself off all the time. It just happens. It just happens all the time. No, without touching the line, there we go. Without touching the gravity line, we proceed properly. Oh, normality. <laughs> <laughs> you would not believe how much this means to me. There's something we can touch down there. Doesn't do anything for us, but there's another spirit. Good stuff. I probably have to fall down in here, right? Okay, there's a slideshow. And more yellow lights that keep showing us the way. This has to be the entire different sensation from claustrophobic, right? The fear of open space. Imagine just walking in the clouds without being properly able to tell at all given times where the ground is and where the ground stops. Ah, well, at least for the moment we will not let that bother us. There is a big derpy fish over here. You see this one? Well, better that one than the Black Eel of Blackness, I would say. Back to the surface. Anything else to see down here? Doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, there is something, though. There is something. The yellow... Oh, it was just a light. I thought it was a bug. I was mislooking. Evidently, I was. No, no, no. Just look at how the game looks now compared to when we started. It's just a difference of night and day, isn't it? Well, we made all of these reappear. Pretty sure we have been here before, haven't we? Very, very sure we have been here before. Not sure if there's anything that we can do in here now that we haven't done already. Yeah, we just made a clean return to where we were before. Let's actually double check if there's maybe some other direction that we can take our singing ability to. There probably is, because we probably need to find more spirits, even though I actually do not know how many we need to make it to whatever next section will come back up. Let's go to the left of here. This is where we got the ability, so... Moving to the left seems like a pretty, pretty smart decision to make. Can we sing in here? Yeah, 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 we can. And that gave me some extra f birds to climb up in the sky in here. And even more. Okay, I probably have to do that with a bit more momentum. Here we go. We've already been in here before, haven't we? Nope, we haven't. Oh, the singing goes very far this time. Look at all the life we are creating right now. Oh, we went very far this time. 
Poison Ivy wish she was us. Right now, she truly, truly wishes she were us. The ease with which we create all of this life. It's outright amazing as what it is. Just keep climbing. Just keep climbing upwards. Do we just sing here again? Yeah. Maybe. Okay, this is where we need to go. This is where we need to use our spirits. But we apparently we need, still need more. So, we're gonna go to the left of here. It's my wild guess. It's my wild guess that we need to go to the left in here. We will see if that's going to hold through. Got a huge ladder over... Ah, staircase in here after all. And this looks like a singing spot. Well, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Could have been right. Could have been right, but I guess I was wrong. Pretty, pretty sure we've already been in this place before, too. Looks kind of familiar. But there we have more singing spots. Keep singing. Oh, man, I miss my small friend from the early episodes. I'm pretty, pretty sure we would have had an absolute field day hearing me sing like this. There's another singing spot. I see it. I see those flowers. Oh, what is going to happen if I sing around this big flower over here? Oh, it bars out a waterfall for me. That's nice. Okay, I think I already see where this one is going. I think I have a... No, I guess I was wrong. Okay, I thought this one would be a bit stronger in effect, but I guess that is not the case. Um... We can't sing underwater, so that's a shame. But we found another spirit. Not quite what I expected would happen down here, but I take it. There's a waterfall we can use to climb up, though. So that is rather nice. And there looks like there's a lot of singing opportunities for me over here. That didn't really do all that much. Right about this spot over here. Nothing. What about this spot up in here? There's another one of those yellow flowers. <laughs> I made that bird pop up its feathers a little bit. Well, I guess that's nice to look at. I guess that is very nice to look at. That didn't do anything, so we keep climbing. We're gonna keep climbing the climb up in here all day long. Not seeing any more singing opportunities. Oh, but there's a bird. There's a bird. There's a bird. I need to touch the bird. I touched the bird. Barely in time. Okay, let's see what's waiting for us down here. Oh, there's another plant. It doesn't care about my singing, though. Maybe I do it from here. Nope. My singing does not reach you. No sense of appreciation for the fine arts is what's going down there. What's going down here? Also nothing. Fine, fine. Using some old-fashioned tools then. Jump. There's another opportunity for that, so we're gonna use that one too. Jump. Let's see where this leads one. Here we can sing. Here we can use our beautiful singing voice to get something done. Maybe. Maybe? Maybe not. Okay. This one, though. This one, though. I'm gonna do it right on stage over here. This one should have plenty effect for me. Hmm. Okay, so... I probably have to... Probably have to find ways to get a bit closer to the center of it all. It's my wild guess. There we go. This one spawned platforms. Now I can use them to move closer to the actual center of the sphere. And then, and then, and then, and then... We can make all of these flowers bloom in full fashion. There's a big one. Can I move over here to touch that one over there too? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. That flower down there, too. Oh, no. 
the gravity line again. It's fine though. No, I can't touch that one. So we have to use our birds. Damn. Oh, easy. And now this platform over here gets activated too. And we can make progress again. No! Damn. Utilize my double jump just a moment too late. There we go. There it is. There it is. There it is. Now, there's another red bird family that I'm going to use and abuse. Don't get me past the moon line one more time. Singing. Looks like it was doing something for me, but it wasn't. That's a shame, a shame indeed, but that's fine. There is another spirit for us. I'm not sure if that's all the spirits that we needed to find in here. Kind of that it was, because I want to know where this is going to lead us next. Or oh, back about this <laughs> invisible bridge in here. Like this, this has to be such a spooky experience. Well, unless you're Superman, I guess, and can just fly by sheer... Naturally given force. Then it will probably not care about that much at all. Ah well. There is no way for me actually to go past that point. But we can move past this one. I'm not sure if we have been here before. In this body of water. Maybe we have. Maybe we haven't. What's going down here? Kind of looks like there's something going down here, right? But maybe it's just, maybe it's just an artistic room design choice that we shouldn't be thinking about too, too hard in here. There's another of those birds that's probably going to sprout all the feathers if we sing for it. Another time, perhaps. Another time. This is where we got our ability back, so we have to make the climb up in here one more time. I think we have enough spirits now, I hope. If there's still one missing in here somewhere, we have to find it. But I think we should have all of them. I didn't actually see how many we need. I didn't actually see that in the night sky all that well. But we found a lot. Just look at how many of those small critters are following us in here. It's quite the substantial amount. Here we go. Take a jump. Take a jump over here again. I fell. I fell. I fell like a duck. Do ducks fall? Probably every now and then. At the very least. It's not the way for us. Uh, here? No, that's not the way. That is not the way. Give me back my birds. This was also not the way, right? That was... Close! Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Can also just jump over this one. We have definitely took, taken this jump at some point in here. I remember that. Very clearly. Anything else in here? Doesn't seem to be the case. Can we even... Get back in here from this point on. Oh yeah, <laughs> we can. I forgot we can actually just swim up waterfalls. Is what we can do. Then we're gonna use that yellow bird over there. And yeah, we're actually on the right path. We're actually on the somewhat right path. And yep. Yeah. Ah, that was bad. That was better. Much much better indeed. Keep climbing up this spot. I just hope we have actually all the spirits that we need. If we would have to go back again to find one more or two more, that would be a little bit disheartening. Ever so slightly so. But no, I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling. Past the gravity line. I got a good feeling about this. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. We'll see if that feeling will come and true or not. Games like this always makes me wonder about the kind of civilization that was 
able and willing to build all these structures that we are looking at in here right now. Just imagine what kind of powers, what kind of technology must have gotten into all of this. I'm actually going the wrong way. I'm, I'm actually going to exactly the section that I went to just moments ago. That was bad. That's pretty, pretty bad. I need to go down this road again. Need to go all the way back to where we came from. Oh, that's actually a secret. Well, that's nice. Are you not going to... Thank you. I dove too far. Don't even know if I can make that jump. I probably should be able to. Let's try it again. That works. That works. You know, it wasn't in vain. I found something. Found something. It was all good. All good. Now, what is the fastest way back to the center point? I actually am not sure. Do we actually have to just go and take this path again? Apparently so. Apparently so. <laughs> Man, I am getting lost so easy these types of games. It's insane. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it all to hell. On top of this, on top of that, on top of this. Go all the way over here. Take that jump, nice and easy, nice and properly. Don't jump too high, and double jump. Got it properly this time. Just need to get back to the starting sections and then to the place where we needed to put those spirits. That's all I need to do in here. There we go again. This is the spot where we end up last time. This is where we go, hopefully back to. Hopefully, maybe, back over this cloud of nothingness. You can actually see the lights in the distance, so at least there's some comfort in that. And here we are, back again. Back at it again. I kind of feel like this is a game where I just would love to actually have a map that helps me orient myself every now and then. Because I, I just am that kind of gamer that easily ends up getting lost in games. That's just who I am. And I don't even know how it keeps happening to me. It doesn't happen to me in real life. At least not that I'm aware of. Maybe it does, and I just end up not realizing it. But no, I can't. I can't remember the last time I was actually lost anywhere in real life. On the contrary. On the contrary, I can remember quite a few situations where I managed to find my way, even though others were lost to a pretty, pretty noticeable degree. Ever been in a theme park before? As a seven or eight year old boy? I remember it was one of my birthday parties way back when I was young and naive. And we were in... How was the park called again? Movie World? Movie Park? I think that's the name. Uh, basically it is a theme park themed about the entire Warner Bros. Looney Bros. universe. That's pretty, pretty fun. And... Everyone I was with at the time was super getting lost. And I was like, no, 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 it's good, it's good, I got a map, I got this, I got this. And I had it. Give me a map, I will find my way around. Give me a map and I will find my way around everywhere, maybe. Maybe. I swear to God, I have no idea where that one star space was again. I knew that we had to do some kind of climb in order to get there. But I'm pretty, pretty sure we did not need to move past the spider guy over here again, did we? I don't think that we did. Was it here? Ah, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. There it is, that's the spot that we need to go for. There it is. How did we get up in here before? Because we didn't take that way. Of that I am very, very sure. Doesn't matter. We found it. We found it. That's all I care about. We found it. And that's all that's important to me. That was just a bird on my balcony. Scared me. You know that feeling when you're playing games and there's suddenly 
an unaccounted movement somewhere at the edge of your vision. Catches me off guard all the time. But on the bright side, we actually did have enough stars to make this climb up in here. For what it's worth. What happens now? Do we need to sing in here? I do. Does my singing now make the stars move around? Oh, I make the entire world turn around now. Oh my god. Where do the powers of this girl of this girl end? So now I'm gonna fall once she starts sing stop singing, right? Yeah. Now I'm falling past the moon. Into a new place. Is this just going to be an entirely new universe now? We brought even more stars to the sky. But this is now a different sky. Com no, 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 it connected with the one we had before. I see it. I see it. Now, I have no idea what that is going to create. But we filled out a lot of screen stuff in there in one go. So that's nice. That is very, very nice. But where do we go from here? What do we do from here and out? I'm not sure. I am very, very not sure. We can sing over here at some point, I guess. Maybe expect something to happen out of that. I am... <laughs> I, I feel like at this point the world has been twisted and turned around so very often that I just kind of lost track of where we are. Okay, I know that we are back at the temple where the starry sky is up above. And that bottom of water over there, we actually came from earlier. I make a wild guess and say that there's probably going to be some kind of section here where I can sing in order to progress a little bit further. And that is the place we need to find. Maybe this one? Oh no. Just saw some... plants there. I thought that would do the trick, but I guess I was wrong. Same here. And I'm pretty, pretty sure we can't climb up this place because this is where we came from once before. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. We already used this bottom of wall over here. At some point to some degree. There's also some plants over here. I don't think they will do anything for us. They don't. Oh, and I actually forgot for a moment that we can actually turn into a rock. We haven't been using that ability a lot recently. A couple of times to crush some ground here and there, but not excessively so. And of course, all the while I'm being nervous about when that... Black gooey eel bird scumbag is going to come back around. That looks kind of promising. Okay, it's just the red bird. Already activated that one. Let's keep going to the right direction over here for a little bit. But I'm pretty, pretty sure this is also going to be a dead end. Pretty, pretty sure it is. Is it? It is. Yes. Fine, fine, fine. Just want to find the next spot that we need to travel to in order to do some honest to God progress in here again. There it is. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Sing your heart out, girl. And take a leap of fate all the way up into the sky. We can actually use the bridge we built with the stars we have found all the way so far. What now? Don't tell me the black stuff is gone. It's back. It's back, it's black, and it still looks like an eel. It now looks like... What does it look like? I feel like I saw for a moment a girl. Oh yeah, it's now a girl. It's now a woman. Okay. Are you going to offer me your hand so that I can bring blackness to the world? It actually erased the entire world. It actually just erased all the colors and all that we have built up in here. And we fall. Oh, we're getting eaten. And there was no turtle front to help us out this time around. Oh no. 
And now we're just in complete blankness. But I can move. At least to some degree. There's something white over there. There's also something right over here. Can I touch this? I can't. That's sad. It's looking like statue fragments to me. Yeah, those are fingers for sure. Those are some fingers of that I'm very, very sure. There is a part of the face. Oh, no, no. We worked so hard. We worked so very hard on getting all of that together in here. What a pain. What a shame. There is increased pitch blackness up in here. It's probably going to be hard to actually see my character in here. I can only go upwards, though. I have no idea what's below me. Okay, okay, okay. We are back on the surface. Guys, I'm gonna end the episode here because I wanna know what is in this. Actually, not entirely black and white world. There's some blue still left. We're gonna see what's going to wait for us past here. I gotta feel that whatever's gonna come our way now is gonna be pretty, pretty intense. Thanks for watching. Still enjoying this game, still having a blast. And I hope that next time we're gonna can we can put this black gooeyness into its place properly. Until then, I've been Daddy the Grant, you have been awesome, and please do have the greatest of days and stay as awesome as you are.